Hey YouTube, what is up? Drinking some powdery, drinking some juice. Um, no, I'm not on a juice fast diet or whatever, but uh, I do drink it because I like it. Plus, it's good for you and recovers your fibers, I guess, because it's powdery. I don't know what it does for you, but it helps you recharge a little bit. And like I said, I'm kind of eating lunch right now. I'm having burgers. I'm having burgers for lunch. I know that ain't really like the real healthy lifestyle, but it's good food. I don't care, you know, that's what I like to eat. I eat anything. I mean, I don't really eat have a diet. I mean, most fitness trainers out there, they have diets and everything. Me, I don't. I mean, I just eat whatever. I just stay active. I just make better choices on what I eat. I know hamburgers ain't really a better choice, but, you know, it is what it is. I like to eat hamburgers, so I'm a meat eater, so I like to eat meats. This is pretty good stuff. Making your own food is a lot better than going to a restaurant spending ten dollars on a meal. Because the way I see it. The way I see it on things, you know, if you go to a restaurant and pay somebody to cook your own food, you don't know how it's cooked. You don't know what they put in it. You know, that's the thing. That's the beauty of cooking your own food. You know, when I was younger, my parents weren't always around. I had to learn to cook myself. On the simple basic stuff. <laughs> I started out with microwave stuff. And then I went on from there. You know once I got comfortable with microwave stuff. Well I started doing things over the oven. I would call my dad up at work. I would say, hey dad, you got a few minutes? You know, can you let me, show me, tell me on how to cook stuff over the oven? Whatever, you know, I want to learn how to cook. Okay, well, he would always give me directions on what to do. And I'd follow him, and they turn, it always turned out pretty good after I got done cooking it. So, I guess I can say I take up after my dad on cooking because it's in his blood and I guess it'll be in my blood, I guess. Only thing though I shouldn't have done was add the chips to it, but I eat chips on um, sandwiches, I eat it in certain things because it gives the crunchiness. I don't know what it is about the chips, but that's what I add. I like to add to it. Just kind of give it a little extra flavorness. I tell you what, cook your own meals, you know what's being cooked on the inside and out. It's kind of like when you're younger, you know, you gotta realize on what you're about, you know, on the inside.
he got to know what you're about on the inside when he was younger. So, it's the same way with cooking. When you're cooking, you know, you know everything, what you're going to do to the ingredients on cooking. Well, I look at it this way. It's that's the same thing when you was younger, you know, you was trying to find the ingredients to cook your life up. You know, you was trying to figure out who you are, what you're about. You know, instead of just having somebody point point fingers, you know, telling you what to do, what you should do with your life, you know, you should be able to make your own choices in life. Because if you don't have some, I mean, if you're not dependent on making your own choices in life, you'll never learn how to grow. It's just plain and simple. You will never learn on how to grow because me, I learned from the early age of my teenage years or my early age through my childhood, childhood years. Actually, no, I take that back. I learned it more on my teenage years when I didn't really have my parents around that much anymore. And I just learned, you know, that basically, you know, I had to make my own choices. I had to make my own choices. Because when you make your own choices, you know, you're trying to be more dependent on yourself instead of relying on others to make that choice for you. And I was always told, even, even when feel something's not right and you know you gotta make a choice you know you gotta make a move and you know it's something don't feel right but you make the move anyway and it turns out to be bad well to me when that happens that's when you should have listened to to uh, your heart telling you hey you know, this is bad for you, you know, this is a bad omen, you know, you should listen to me, I'm trying to protect you, you know, and that's the thing, and that's how, you know, we make choices to grow up, you know, sometimes we do listen to our hearts, sometimes we don't, you know, it's just, me, I listen to my gut feelings on a lot of things, because my gut feelings is what helps protect me, because I see through bullshit. I see through everything. And and that's the thing. Most people nowadays they can't even see through they can't even see through the lies. They can't even see through the lies and uh that's on TV. They you know they can't, you know the drama the stress, they can't see the lies on the TV, that, you know, everything that goes on in life, and half the time, I think half the stuff, they don't even really give the full detail of, so you gotta do your own research on the topics and everything else, so it's like, that's the reason why I don't even have TV, you know, only thing I watch is my movies, you know, I might watch a few movies, Netflix, you know, watch a few videos on YouTube, you know, listen to music. I don't even have TV. So, it's like, the only source I get of news is online, but I don't even really look at the damn news. It's like, I can't even care less about the news because all it does is just repeat itself day in and day out.
only thing I care about is knowing who the president is and the vice president. All that other stuff, the weather, the the uh, thing that you're not supposed to talk about on well uh, on uh on here that floats around the air is making everybody sick. Well, that's the thing. You know, I don't care about none of that. You know, I don't care about hearing it about every damn day of the week. You know, why don't they, you know, talk about something else? You know, you know, give the update at the end of the week. You know, let everybody know what's going on of it. Instead of having to post it on TV every day and day. But that's just my opinion. And that's the thing. And we are allowed to give opinions. Because it's our choices of freedom of rights, freedom of speech. And to me, you know, you got to believe on what you want to believe in, you know, as you were growing up, you know, you shouldn't let nobody take that away from your ability to be able to believe in what you want to believe in and what rationality you can't rationality you came from or what race gender uh what you know if you're gay or if you're bisexual or transgender or if you're straight it shouldn't matter but do i think you know being bisexual and gay is wrong yes i do but, you know, that's their choices. That's their choice. That's their choice. Because why else you know I'm not I'm not saying transgenders and bisexual and all of them are bad but it's not right I'm just saying it's not right or anything. Anything like that because it's not right because of uh, this day and age. You no, know, back then they wouldn't even approve of it. Back in the seven, they wouldn't even approve it back in the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s. They wouldn't even approve it. You know, you would have been pretty much dead if somebody would have found out about it. Heck, I think recently, a while back, um, I heard a story when I was younger that a Crocker man died. Dude. To being gay because people didn't like it that he was gay. And that was a long, long time ago. So, and that's the thing.
and I don't have no problem. I have no problem with people being gay, but I just think it's just wrong. But that's your guys' choice. That's like I said, it's my opinion. You know, I can have my own opinions if I want. So, that's the thing. You know, having your own opinions, having your own choices in life makes you be more responsible. Because without being more responsible of choices, the actions you take You never know how you're going to end up growing. You never know how you're growing because you don't believe in yourself on who you are and what you're about. You better have somebody make your own opinions up for you. No, you should rely on yourself. That's all I'm saying. So Donna Ford signing out. Uh, hit the like, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification, you get all my videos and hope you enjoy this. Sorry for making a long video. Um, it's just topic something to talk about and like I said make your own choices don't let nobody make choices for you peace